السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I'm very delighted to have Sister Munasira Kobi, Sister Khadija Raja, and Sister Umu Omi with me today. Very excited about the upcoming seminar on Tuesday, the 3rd of September, inshallah, in which we are looking at exploring the fundamental dimensions of Islam in Hadith Jibrail. So um, I'm going to start uh, with yourself, uh, Sister Mo. Tell us about what your group is doing for the seminar. Our group is doing a lesson that will be done from Hadith Jibril and we are doing research on what we can benefit from each section of the Hadith when it comes to speaking of Islam, when it comes to speaking of Iman, when it comes to speaking of the lessons learned from um, the mother and, and, the, and the child that grows buildings or Sounds quite interesting. Sister Khadija, um, both of you, you've been with Medina, and uh, this is possibly your second seminar. And so, just for the experience on this one particularly, how has it been working with your group, exploring this Hadith? Um, it has been um, quite difficult though, because um, it was very difficult for us to like, go into the website and search for exactly what we're looking for. But alhamdulillah, we, um, as a group, we work together and we had to look forward into like um, what uh, lessons can we, as we like doing research, so what lessons can we ourselves take from that particular uh, um, research that we are looking for. Well, you obviously had um, Sheikh Zaid oversee um, the class, you also had Sheikh Yasin Solomon's oversee the class, and then there's also the teaching of the research methods and how to conduct the research. What has that been as, you know, in, as a student of the Bachelor of Arts degree? Because one thing that um, one expects to see come out of a Bachelor of Arts degree is the development of skills to project manage, to do so many things. And this seminar obviously would be a, a field where you could explore those dimensions. So in doing our research, we can't just um, look for something and obey that matches with our topic and just go with it. We need evidence. So where did it come from and dive into that? and um, like check the chain, is it authentic enough for us to use? And yeah, so to consider that a lot when we're doing our research is, um, it's like, like not difficult, but also at the same time, because like you can't stick it. It needs to be, um, um, it needs to be authentic, yeah, I would say. So, Sister Khadija, I'm coming back to you, mashallah, um, you're pursuing the Bachelor of Arts degree in Islamic Studies. What motivated you to seek a degree in Islamic stu Studies? Um, first of all, personally, I, um, as a young child, since I was young, I always wanted to study Islamic Studies. So, when I went to primary, when I applied for primary school, I couldn't, I wanted to go to Al-Asr uh, Al Primary, but um, I applied late, so the, it was full, so by then I had to go and study at the uh, public school, like a uh, mixed school. But then I was like, um, okay, I will just like study in primary school and then maybe see um, if I make it, inshallah, in high school, then I can look for um, institute that is like Islamic studies. So then, alhamdulillah, when I finished primary school, um, I went to, I applied for Al Azhar High and I got accepted and my dream, so I, I was like very happy because it was what I've always wanted. So what really motivated me is um, looking into the society and where I came from. So Islam was, like in our household, our household Islam was very, it's, it was very um, something that we always look up for. Prominent. 
Yes, so, um, and my parents, they've always motivated me to study about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, going into um, Islamic studies. So, it's basically everything for me, it's about Islamic studies. Everything. And to be honest, I've never um, found myself um, like attached too much to this world. So I love Islam, I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Islam is everything for me. So that's why I always wanted to go into Islamic institution and study. So BA was like the best choice for me that I could ever make. Sister Umu, mashallah, your beautiful mother, Sister Aisha, very well known in the community as an exemplary sister of the and so what motivated you as a young lady to further studies um, in this way? Um, um, when I was a toddler, my mom and I, we used to take a train and go to Baltimore and I was four years old. And then she would go to Madrasa in Baltimore and then I would study the thing with my mother and she would teach me how to read the book spell the words and she would motivate me all the time and she would push me and every morning she would wake me up early in the morning and she would me always read Bahra. Bahra always sings you always read Bahra. And then as I grew older obviously I started making new decisions and seeing the world differently and then I looked into other things like maybe I want to become a accountant, you know, maybe I want to become a doctor. But then my mom would always say don't forget your be because the dean opens every door. So rather study your dean and from there you will find your passion and what you do. So at first I wanted to do my hips, I wanted to finish my hips and then I came across one of the students of Medina Institute. I was doing my finals in Arabic um, at Al Azhar High School for high um, and then I was struggling in Arabic and then Harden, um, she's now in BA2, she's doing her degree as well. She helped me with the Arabic and it felt so good. She understood all the rulings and, and I, that motivated me to study here at Medina Institute as well and further my studies in Islamic studies. Helena, and then in closing, Sister Manasira, you got to do the Yusu um, program first and is now decided to pursue the Bachelor of Arts degree, what made you do that? <coughs> so, um, Medina Institute is at home and I didn't want to go, like I wanted to further my studies in Islamic studies um, and I wanted to do it here at Medina Institute. So, um, I just decided to stay and further my studies here and to do it at the Medina Institute. So I'm familiar with everything else here and it's very, very Alhamdulillah, I need to say shukran to you ladies for joining us. We're looking forward to your seminar on Tuesday. May it be a great success, but mostly may you be greatly successful in the pursuit of beneficial knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.